Aloha, it's Chef Rebecca from Foodland. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make patele stew. This local favorite is perfect for any gathering and has been a go-to dish that I enjoy making whenever I'm hosting my family and friends. The fattiness from the braised pork adds a delicious layer of flavor that is truly irresistible. Before we get started, I do wanna mention that you can find a list of all of these ingredients for this recipe at the end of our video. To get started, we'll heat two tablespoons of neutral oil in a large pot over medium high heat. You can use any type of neutral oil, like vegetable, canola, or grapeseed. Next, we'll add five pounds of diced pork butt and season with two tablespoons of garlic salt and one pack of Sazon, which is a Hispanic all-purpose seasoning, and you can get the Goya brand from any Foodland store. Let this cook for 20 minutes while stirring occasionally. Make sure to scrape the bottom of the pot while you're mixing. Next, we'll add one tablespoon of finely chopped garlic one large white onion, which I've diced, and a packet of chote powder, which is used as a coloring agent. Then we'll add one tablespoon of crushed red chili flakes for a spicy kick. We'll let this cook for another 10 minutes. While the pork butt is cooking, we'll prepare one pound of green bananas. First, cut and remove the top and bottoms of the bananas. Carefully cut slits in the skin, lengthwise and down the sides. Add the bananas to a pot of boiling water and cover for 10 minutes. I recommend apple bananas or plantains because you really want a starchy green banana. Next, remove the cooked bananas from the pot and let them cool. Once the bananas are cooled, we'll peel them and finely grate with a box grater and set aside. I like to shred the bananas because they melt nicely and it helps to thicken the stew while giving it a delicious creaminess. Before I finish up our patele stew, I wanted to mention that if you're looking for more mealtime solutions or interested in learning how to cook local style recipes, visit us at foodland.com. Next, we'll add two cans of tomato sauce and eight cups of water to the pot and bring to a boil. You could also use chicken broth instead of the water for more flavor. Once the stew starts to boil, bring it down to a simmer and cook for one hour, stirring occasionally to prevent the pork from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Add the grated green bananas to the stew and mix well, making sure the bananas have separated and aren't clumped together. Then we'll let this cook for another 30 minutes while stirring frequently. Next, we'll add two large green bell peppers, which I've already diced, two cans of black olives, and one bunch of finely chopped cilantro. Let this cook for another 10 minutes while stirring occasionally. So here we have our patele stew. The green bananas and cilantro really make this dish special. What I love is how versatile patele stew can be. It's a great main dish, just add rice. And I even like to make different poo-poos with this stew. Think of nachos or even lumpia, wontons. Just let the stew cool and fold it into wrappers, then deep fry. This recipe has become a staple dish in my family. If you have any questions about this recipe or cooking in general, send us an email at chefs at foodland.com. You can find ingredients to make this dish at your neighborhood Foodland. And to get this recipe, visit us at foodland.com.